Hey guys, it's the Thoughtful Beast, aka Trixie. This thing is spelling my name wrong. It's fine. <laughs> um, anyways, so I came out with this video about the cognitive distortion of labeling, and so that's what I want to talk about today, but in a more personal way. So I want to talk about how how I labeled myself as broken for a very, very long time. That's what I saw myself as. In my 20s, I called myself broken all the time because of my mental illness, because of like my crap relationships. And to be honest, I think I took a sort of comfort in it because since I was broken, I mean, I was screwed. So I didn't have to do anything. You know, that's like the part of labeling, right? Like if you label yourself something, then like you don't have to try anymore because there's going to be no point. And again, labeling is a cognitive distortion. It's a negative way of thinking. And I definitely thought that way deep into my depression. And again, I thought it for years. So yeah, I mean, truly there was some comfort in it. And part of that too came from meeting other people who also labeled themselves as broken. And I was like, cool, I'm in this broken club. And to be honest, um, that friendship did not go so well. Yeah, for multiple reasons. But honestly, I think that was one reason too. Like we both saw ourselves as broken. So because we did that, it made... Not that we didn't want each other other to recover or anything or ourselves to recover, but it ended up getting in the way of our recovery. Like, at least for me, because it made this weird insecurity about like, well, the better I get, the farther I get from this person. Um, so that was weird. And so in that way, the labeling also really messed with my life. And... To all the other people out there who have labeled themselves as broken or do label themselves as broken for their mental illness or their situation or because they just think they are broken, like I get it. I think you're wrong. <laughs> I think you're wrong. Because, I mean, I was wrong about myself. And the thing, okay, so this is like the weird thing about labeling yourself as broken too. Like, it can go both ways, which makes it more hard. At least for me, it made it more hard because like broken can just mean like you're screwed, right? But broken can also mean that you can be fixed. And that can also be really good or really bad. For me, it went really bad a lot of times because I looked for other people to fix me because I was broken. So I was in these relationships that were not the best because I was like, I need someone to fix me and love me. And if someone loves me, then I must be fixed. Like, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, I, I wanted to be white knighted. And the way that it goes well you know, if you see yourself as broken and you need to be fixed is if you realize that you can fix yourself. Yeah, and that can be a good thing, but at least for my, for my own life, it definitely happened in the other ways. Cause you know, depression is hard, mental illness is hard, and it's just easier to choose the more self-deprecating dark paths so i guess what i'm telling you is like a beware tale what is like a cautionary tale i am a cautionary tale i think that's what half these vlogs are honestly it's just me being a cautionary tale and like don't do this um but yeah how you see yourself and what you label yourself is really important and, you know, labeling, again, it's a cognitive distortion. Um, which is, I'm getting like stuck and confused on how to say this, right? Cause like, 
quote unquote labeling can also be like a good thing if you like label yourself as a survivor. Um, I'm like getting into like in my head. In my head, there's a battle about like technicalities and somatics and all that stuff that really don't matter. <laughs> um, that backtrack on my conversation. But so I'll leave it with it's very important about how you label yourself or what you call yourself to yourself to other people. You need to think about what that does for you and what that does for your mental health. The way you see yourself can really have a great effect on how your life goes. And that's the cautionary tale I will leave you with. Um, but really, yeah. So until next time, you know, make sure you're creating happiness in your life, whether that means you're gonna go eat a tub of ice cream and just wonder about like what I was talking about, which is fine. That's fine. Um, or whether that means you're just going to go hydrate with water because water is awesome. Okay. Bye guys. Peace out. That got weird.